hello good morning today in this video we are going to discuss about how to download and install a custom module from our web store mainly this is the step which is known to almost all people but there is a special case or there is a case where uh, there are some people's feel difficulties in it so i will explain those two cases with uh, two examples first of all right now i will go to odoo app store and here you can see our modules we have published in the odoo store i will take a simple module if you go to this module that is inventory dashboard uh, right now if you check the required apps it is only depends on the inventory stock that is the default module of odoo store so i will download this module for odoo 12 as I am demonstrating in the version 12 itself so it get downloaded so in the downloads you can see the inventory dashboard module from here I will extract it so I got I got the module here itself so for installing this module I have to just co cut it and paste it inside my add-ons path that is here in the custom it I haven't added any modules there so I will paste my first module in my custom path that is inventory dashboard as the module is placed in the custom add-ons path I have to restart the service as I am using the PyCharm I will just restart from here okay then I will come to the front end and activate the developer mode okay from here I will activate the developer mode so after activating the develop mode i will go to apps menu click update app list for refreshing the app list and i will search dashboard that is for inventory dashboard okay you can get the module here so i will click the install button so in this case we haven't done anything special we just go to app store and downloaded the module, extracted it, placed in add-ons folder, restart the service and install it. Now look at the second case here. So this module only depend on this stock that is default module of Odoo. Now I'll choose this module Odoo 12 accounting. Okay, you can see. So if you check the dependencies, it is depending on three other custom modules like uh, this module that is PDF reports, asset management, and budget management. So, this audit accounting depends on audit 12 accounting reports, audit 12 asset management, on audit 12 budget management. So, when I'm downloading this module, I'll click the download button. So, when I'm downloading, okay, it's getting downloaded. So, let it complete. Yeah, it is get completed. So, I'll go downloads so this is the download module so this i will extract here most people do what most of the people will do just cut it from here cut cut it from here and they will put it in the add-ons path add-ons path okay obviously they put the module in the add-ons path then what the step they have to do is that restart the service yes they restart the service come to front end uh, the developer mode is activated the developer mode is activated uh, so click update app list okay all the specified things are done they download the module extracted it placed in the add-ons path and restart the service click the update app list then they will search for here order 12 accounting and most of the people say that we have placed your module in the apps add-ons path and the module is not getting visible in the apps menu the issue is that what you have placed in the add-ons path is this one as that the module we have downloaded is actually the module we have downloaded is om account accountant if we go to the app store the technical name of the module we have downloaded is om account accountant so that's inside this folder so the mistake here is that we don't know how to paste this just i'll delete it here and go to downloads itself and i will extract it once again if the module is depend on some other modules it will come like this om accountant comma version number here itself we don't have to copy this entire file means entire folder we have to open it and copy these things just copy what it's inside okay just cut those modules 
go to home itself odoo odoo 12 custom add-ons and paste the different modules and the module we have downloaded so we have placed the module here and again i will yeah, custom module is loading okay and again i will restart the service okay the service is restarted now come to front end okay I'm from, right now i'm the front end and i'll click on the update app list menu update app list menu okay then i will again make a search of it auto 12 accounting yeah right now i can see the module here let me check whether this is the right one this is according pdf reports i will make search of it this name auto 12 accounting yeah this is the module we have just downloaded and installed now okay so by clicking the install button we can click the install this module so main things we have just have to take care of is if the module we have downloaded is depend on some other custom modules we will get a these two modules inside a folder so after extracting the module we have to take the modules in from inside that folder and place it in the add-on spot as i have shown in this video most of the people i have seen in the auto forums on in our mails extra asking we have placed in your module in the apps and the custom add-ons path and we are not able to visible this module so this is the issue with that such cases so right now we have installed both of both these modules that is first of all we have inst installed the dashboard module we have installed and also we have installed that auto to accounting module so this is all about this video if you have any queries or any doubts you can comment us in the youtube sec comment section have a nice day thank you